believe we're live now. Let's give that a click. And skip this cutscene. Like I always do. I suppose I should have waited for uh to kick out of post mode, but oh well. I don't think Steve's gonna mind. No, I want items. You know, we're into the third dungeons pseudo post game. And yet, we're still getting garbage like fucking black imps here. Black goblins, excuse me. They were called imps in the original. What? What is Zarix? accuracy right now. I'm kind of curious. Two thirty-three. Okay. Oh. You know, I almost want to bet that if I have. Dumb as a rock, Zarek use a fucking magic item. He's still gonna do more damage than Talif. But then again, Talif is kind of proven to be kind of worthless. I'm gonna grab a can of pop here real quick. I'm getting thirsty. Sorry. I see my buddy Archie uh, followed me. I think he's I think my email said it was about a half hour ago. So I know you're not here right now, but good to have you on board, buddy. Oh, come on. And of course black goblins have balls, so you know they'll just cherry tap us to, until we kill them instantly by farting. Because they only have like 70 HP? Oh, wow, what am I gonna do with a hypo? Nothing. Really wish I had a reliable AoE for Zarek, but I don't. I'm using an AoE to kill a single enemy, but it doesn't cost me anything, so fuck it. Excuse me. Wow, an empty room. You know, I can't help but get the feeling I looped around. Because I think I did. Yeah, these maps are kind of confusing. Every once in a while. Because uh, they took the idea from uh, 4 or 5 of Sunken Shrine. Where you actually have to loop around from the left back to the right to get to the Rosetta Stone. Oh, come on. Well, it's no surprise that the Excalibur is going to kill these fucking things in one hit. Talib gained a level? Okay. Luck increased. Wow, what's that going to do? Nothing. Where are the fucking stairs? Okay, the death elementals are pretty fucking common now. 
Though I'd rather fight the Death Elementals than, say, Black Goblins. Because at least these things are worth a couple hundred experience each. Yeah. They're worth as much experience as the Black Goblins are worth in gold. kind of funny seeing <clears throat> black magic come from the white wizard even though I've been doing it for so long but since intelligence affects all magic it doesn't matter he's an effective spellcaster no matter what You know, you'd think that fangs would pierce through the cloak. But then again, I don't know, maybe it's got, like, chain interwoven into it. Though if that was the case, it'd be considered chain mail and the fucking black mage wouldn't be able to use it. Funny how I'm getting all these sunken shrine floors so close together. Because there's a library floor. I think there's one or two world map floors you can get. But not, count not counting the boss floors, there are 17 random floors in this dungeon. Assuming I'm remember remembering correctly. Because it's... Gilgamesh at 5, Atomos at 10, and then a split choice of Shinryu or Omega on 20. And they're every bit as nasty as they were in 5. That being Omega and Shinryu. Gilgamesh is still a doof, but then again, that's what makes him so lovable. That and the fact that, you know, he's not actually evil. Like, when he sacrifices himself for Barts and Co., he's like, You better fucking remember me, dude. And then somehow that caused him to be, you know, transient between worlds. He basically becomes a fucking planeswalker. Because every version of Gilgamesh in future games is basically confirmed canon to be Final Fantasy V's Gilgamesh. With exception of 15s for some reason. But that's just what I heard. I mean, there's, you know, pretty good possibility that it really is the same uh, good old Greg as Hildy calls him. All I gotta say is at least the death elementals are worth experience. And honestly, if I can power level a little bit on my way down, I'll do it. Because I am actually kind of fearing uh, Omega because that's the one I'm going to fight first because he's on the, the west side of the floor. Might as well go west to east, right? I'd say like I've done before, but I think I did No, I did west on then east on um 
on Earth Gift. But I was kind of all over the place in um, Hellfire. I didn't even know if I fought them in the right order. I've actually never played for to the point where I start seeing the fiends. Which I hope to rectify by some point. But, um... You know. Come as it may, because, you know, I want to do more Nuzlocke stuff, because that's mostly what you guys know me for. No, fuck it. Where is the light axe? And this is gonna be even weirder. Seeing the black wizard use a white spell. Never mind. Revan suck. Oh, hey, I found the stairs already. Alright, time to give them back the items they were using. I really shouldn't move around my inventory a bit. I, mean, I think it went down too far. Uh, it's AT&T. They're not going to cooperate. And am I retarded? There we go. I don't know. Comcast has been screwing around lately. Like, um... Last night I was running some stuff with, uh, Kale and Zane on 14. And... We got into our expert roulette. You know instantly because, you know, tank healer and one DPS, but, um, <clears throat> fucking, got to the first pool, killed him, the barrier of eggs goes down, the five mobs spawn, and you have been disconnected from the server. After five minutes of me shouting into the darkness, because, you know, no outbound connection, and I can't send my VoIP. Unfortunately, those two goobers are at work right now, so... Actually, they never show up to my stream anyway, so... Which is fine. The Skulger ran away, huh? Yeah, it took me about ten minutes to get back online, but, uh... Afterward, it was fine for the rest of the night. <laughs> oh, they... They know I talk shit, because we do it to each other all the time. Which, actually, hopefully with these guys, we're going to be able to find a group for the raid static come next week. Because the new content drops on Tuesday. I'm actually kind of happy about that. I'm just... I'm Considering how Zarek killed them with fucking Fendara, I'm not going to bother wasting the time with Dia. But yeah, Sigma Scape is going to be Final Fantasy XVI. The final boss is going to be Kefka. Which means fucking... If they're gonna do Sigma Escape like they did Delta Escape with uh, X Death, then normal mode is just gonna be, you know, fighting him as is, kind of like when uh, he's fucking with the Warring Triad. Because I think there's a fight with Kafka there. I don't remember Six all that well. And then fucking, you kill that form, transforms like X Death did into Neo, and it's just fucking. God Kafka. Complete with Dancing Mad. That actually might be the uh, theme for the entire fight. I don't know, the trailer hyped it up a hell of a lot. And one of the bosses is gonna be fucking Doom Train. So, let's hope that the monks get a suplex ability. I don't know, uh, when we get to the point where we're doing Savage, I'm gonna be streaming that. Just because that's something I've wanted to do forever. Oh, hey! 
Both items I really like. This is why I'm in AoE mode. Fucking encounters like this. Um, the last time I remember playing Final Fantasy VI, and I only ever played the Game Boy Advance version, I was still in high school. I, know, I was pissed whenever I got to the uh, post-game dungeon in 6, and I'm, like, finding shurikens and fucking katanas. I'm like, I don't have shadow. Why, didn't, why am I getting shadow weapons? And I'm like, could I save him? I looked it up, and they're like, Ha, you didn't save shadow. You're a retard. Ha, <laughs> ha. I'm like, could have been nicer about it, but I understand what you're saying. What's she say? Mermaid Village of Seahole, strange man carrying a halberd arrived not too long ago. Apparently took for a sword of master's power. Village connected to the sea, blah, 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 blah. Where's he now? Pink mermaid to the north. That's exactly what she told me last time I was here. I mean, whoops. That first 15 minute stream didn't happen. Uh, I've actually never played the PS1 version, so I couldn't tell you about that one. But I do know the GBA version's weird. I don't think of it even though it's a dangerous mission. Oh, it's a different pink mermaid. Are you people? What are you doing here? That big guy's great. You little guys are great. Everybody's great. Ha <laughs> ha! It was just peaceful, but it's not very exciting. The strange man with a halberd? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. He stands out, you know? Head outside and go south. You should find a pink mermaid in the big room down there. She ought to know where he is. She's my little sister, so be nice, you hear? Big room to the south, right there. Just gotta find the fucking door. Which I think is by the first green mermaid I talked to. Yeah, it is. This spot in the north with a bunch of pills lined up with di diagnosis. Sort of raw, right? I was over there chatting with a friend, rather than enjoying myself, I might add. Then all of a sudden, a man with a halberd appeared out of nowhere. He asked my friend something, but I can't recall what it was. I'll bet she's there today, too. If you want to talk to her, she's cute. Blue mermaid. Can't miss her. Pillars, huh? Eh, you gotta be careful with emulation, says the guy playing the game on an emulator. Because some people are all huffy about it. Okay, this is not where I need to be. Although, that is one of the places where um, Greg will attack you. I like the filter on this. I'm trying to find this place that the mermaid's telling me about. Oh, there. I feel dumb. So here it was, talking with my friend, when this guy with a halberd comes out of nowhere. The legendary sword! Where is it? He asks us. Well, I don't know where any legendary sword is. So I tell him that a lot of stuff washing up in the open area in the middle of town. And he runs off. There's a mermaid there who tidies up all the things that they collect there. She was probably over there right now. Try asking her if she knows anything, okay? Yeah, PlayStation emulation is kind of jank. That's uh, actually one of the reasons why I bought Ape Escape on eBay. Because uh, my PS3, you know, works just fine. I don't know if it was a legendary sword, but I do remember something that looked like a blade. It drifted down to the hollow just a little way down the narrow path there. And that's exactly what I told the weirdo carrying a big halberd when he asked. I wonder if he's still searching for it. And hey, guess where I gotta go? Where I bumblefucked to last time. 
But at least I'm not spending a half hour on this floor like I did with the fucking world map. I finally found it. The object of my search. A weapon without peer! Eh? Who's there? Are you what? You're after my sword, aren't you? Well, let's see how you handle my... <clears throat> the mighty me. And by me, and I mean Gilgamesh. And by handle, I mean die. <laughs> you must die. <laughs> I love this guy. He's so fucking stupid. Also, this theme is kick-ass. Oh, no. Um... Honestly, I think I'd much rather have Invisor right now. Oh, nope. Need haste. Knew that was gonna fucking happen! Fucking knew it! No, 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 don't cast that on yourself. Natal is dumb. And really fucking useless. Yes, he is. He is a fucking retard. Oh, you should hear the Final Fantasy XIV uh, remix of it. It's fantastic. I love it. Because uh, you fight him as part of the uh, Hildebrand quest line. You uh, follow him to Curthus and you t challenge him to a, m a match on the <clears throat> on the bridge. To which he's like, yeah, go ahead and bring seven friends because it's a eight-man trial. This is old fucking content, though. Ha! Excalibur sucks. Oh, shit. I think I'm gonna have him cast Kiraga on himself. So I can get another Invasor out. Really wish that it would stop doing that. Frankly, at this point, I think I can get away with, uh, just having Zarek attack. Because he's only got, like, two or three hundred HP left anyway. And I don't want mages to die. There's no experience in, from this, from these bosses, but still, it's annoying to have one of them dead at the end of combat. Especially when it's Mr. Tailing by 2,000 experience. Please, mermaid, move. Please, mermaid, move. Please, mermaid, move. All right. Let's head down this way. Oh, boy. The not chaos shrine. Of two thousand years yonder. And it looks like chatbot is f screwed up because my viewer list isn't updating. Well, it's next left. I mean, that's a possibility. I mean, <clears throat> this is one of my streams, so, you know, boring as fuck. Okay, cool. Just making sure. I love when it's ambushed and everything runs away. Though it seems like a waste that I'm using all this AoE. 
But again, it doesn't cost me anything, so... Wait. Yeah, for a second there, my eyes just kind of went, wait, when did Talov hit over 600 HP? He's still... It's not possible to gain that much HP from a single level. But then again, I started taking my med again for my nerves, and it's admittedly fucking me up a little bit. Because I went to my neurologist today, and he's like, dude, why aren't you taking your med? I'm like, because it doesn't make me feel good. You know, I'm not exploring this floor with this jam-packed with garbage enemies this floor is. And the thing is, if you get it later on, like around 15 to 19, you actually get some good experience from it. Because, you know, we're still in warm-up floor territory, which is retarded beyond belief. Which, I don't know why I'm saying that word so much, but... Oh, yeah. I tend to do that, too, when I'm watching stream. Like, I'll... Unless I'm doing something that requires concentration, I'll keep the stream on volume. But once I need to concentrate, muted. And sometimes I forget. It's like, um... If Buka does another fucking hours check on people, I'm like number 70 something on his viewer list and I've been lurking in his chat for like 20 hours <clears throat> oops granted I'm not doing what the one guy did which is uh use chatty to uh be in like 50 different chats at once but you know not be active in any of them I'm active when I can be you know, when the chat's slow enough and I'm, you know, not fighting to get a word in edgewise. Ooh! Ooh, this... F I forgot this floor was here. I thought it was in Whisperwind. This floor's fun. Because if you do that, you get fucking reset. It's great. Damn it. It's hard to keep count when you're in sprint mode. And, you know, there's... no reference. Except for, you know, a weird floating thing with a, uh, null shock item. Damn it. Hang on. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. Yeah, I, I guess I did. I mean, there's plenty of uh, words that, you know, are synonymous, but my brain won't brain tonight. Uh, something like this also exists in Link to the Past. Only instead of it flashing, you gotta cast Ether. And you really don't see those puzzles until uh, Dark World Death Mountain. It wasn't in Misery Mire, but it was in um, the cave near Turtle Rock. Okay. Elixir. Wow, that's pretty rare, actually. Dang. Too bad I can't fucking rest here. That'd be great. 
I would love that. Give my fucking HP back. Granted, I've got all those fucking high potions and ethers. As a matter of fact, what am I looking at for ethers right now? 88, I'm good. But, uh, high potions? I'm capped, so. Since I'm thinking about it. Oh, wow. Aaron and Drell haven't gotten hit at all. Since, um, I heal Agad. Which, actually, you know what? I might as well just fucking reset the puzzle. Yay, no frame of reference. Not that I'm really using a frame of reference. I'm just waiting for the fucking thing to blink. Oh, lovely. I actually think this is going to take me to the stairs. And if it does, then so be it. Oh, hey, dining hall. whoop de doo Give me a fucking treasure chest. Or the sta stairs. Okay. We set the puzzle again. Come up here, go right. Ooh, it's a good thing I stopped dashing there. Another fucking empty dining room. Fuck you too, game. Be careful, because I have a feeling the game's going to throw a fucking wrench at me. Damn it! One step too far to the right. One step too far south. I love how I say up, down, east, west. <laughs> <clears throat> and this is why this is all I want to do tonight, because this is fucking silly neeners. Silver apple, nice. Fairy tonic's kind of junk. Oh, what do you know? I fell off for nothing. Hermes, ooh, Hermes shoes, that's nice. That way I can open with, uh, temper, temper, haste. Because I can tell Aaron to use those on, um, Zarek, and bam! Bam! I love these item-based spells. It's really shit. Kind of nice. I mean, in some respects, they're great, but others, they're not. Like, if it's a status spell that, you know, doesn't matter on the user's intelligence. Oh, it's fucking beyond belief. Being a little risk averse here because I know I'm gonna fuck up somewhere. And hey, what do you know? I might pick the right. That actually looks like it still goes south. Whoa! Yikes! Um. Is there anything up here that you're gonna fuck around with me with? X potion. Wow, I have no use for that. I already have Kiraja. Which I'm pretty sure that's all that is. Kiraja is an item power plus. And I drops. Okay. Oh hey, there's the stairs. Did it go up and around? I think I did. 
No. No, I didn't. Fuck this place. Bye. <clears throat> 410. Oh, hey. What do you know? Uh, how we doing? Can tell whose magic is actually important. <laughs> Interlopers. Wormhole. Is that Tal of Dead? No. Very well could have been. <coughs> Protura and Visra. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't call it Protega. But then again, Protura is two. Uh, this is Final Fantasy V Automos, though. Ooh, wow. That hurt. Uh, let's go for Temper, Yulaga, and Temper. Yeah, Typhon's in six. Yeah. Um. I know what it is. I know what it is. Talib is. Just like, um, shit, what's her name from the Red Mage storyline in fucking Final Fantasy XIV. Only instead of being a thrall of Lilith with <clears throat> heightened thaumaturgy, he is from, he's a thrall of something from Omdapur that has high conjury. Because his fucking Kira, his Kiraga have healed a lot. So maybe he's just a shitty thaumaturge. Yeah. I don't know, I think Final Fantasy IX now at most actually looks pretty cool. Okay, that's everyone back to full, but Wormhole shouldn't do anything. Because I've got the Protect Capes on. I think that should be... No, that's not. Huh! Ha! <laughs> Halves damage. You finally put him on par with the rest of the party. But then again, the, the mages all have ribbons equipped, which increases uh, defense to magic. And that's game. Automos is down. Judgment Staff. Oh, 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 that's what I've been waiting for the entire fucking game. A staff that casts flare when used. <laughs> Let's 
Let's give that to him. Let's give that to him. Lunar Curtain. Cast Null Death. Genji Gloves are useless. Yes, they give more defense and they're lighter, but, um, nah. I actually want that in the place of my judgment stat. Black robe there. Where are the Thor gloves? There we go. Put that where the Echo Grass is. There. That way I've got all the, sp the spells I need. <clears throat> Though. I guess I can keep Tal of using the gauntlet. Well, I'll, get, I'll make Trell use the Judgment Staff just because, well, it does damn good damage. <clears throat> I'll give probably Taliv the Black Robe. And then have uh, Zarek use the Oh, shit, I can't move those. So... Gauntlets... Black robe... Thor's hammer, and... The Judgment Staff! Shame that most of that fight was finding my items. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, um. All the spells I need are at the top of the list. That low intelligence shows. But hey, it's AoE damage. And it's just enough to kill this fucking thing, so hey. I'm not complaining. Protect drink. Yeah, I'd much rather cast Protura. Thank you. Cockatrice Claw. Shame the two bosses that are actually weak to break are already dead. Petrified. Match. No, 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 no. No, no. I should probably heal a little bit, but... Eh, I can wait until... I can wait a little bit. Unless Talib does a dumb and takes a shit fucking... A shit fuck ton of damage. Yes, that's words. Killer Shark. Could potentially hurt me. Case in point. But now that I'm getting free flares, it doesn't matter. Oh. Oh. Thing's still standing. <laughs> Holy shit, how strong are the fucking killer sharks? Not worth the experience they give, I can tell you that. So, 
Hagen Queen, Death Elemental. Just resist fire. Kill a shark, 1200 HP, weakness. Weakness lightning! Oh, yeah, I'm, I guess my lightning's coming off a pretty dumb character, so. Where does that put me? That tops off Zark and Trell. And that's good enough for me. That's all she wrote. Oh, wait. Here's an idea. Let's put Auto Dash back on. I think I'm eventually going to get an item that lets me cast Holy off of it. I think that's in Whisperwind, though. I've already gone through there. Have I? I don't know, this place is confusing and weird. Fifty eight from ice. This is about it's about a thousand damage right there. And would you leave my red alone? Yeah, I think I know why he wears red. So his bloodstains don't show through his clothes. <laughs> Shit. And the nice thing about that drop is... I have to come through here again, so I'm gonna get a second one. Which means goodbye, Thorhammer. I'm not using you anymore as an item. Because on these junk pulls, I'm gonna do probably attack, black robe, judgment staff, judgment staff. Because why wouldn't I with 500 damage per fucking target? Oh, hey, Blizzara. It's not like I can already cast that for free anyway. But with the fang items don't make a hell of a lot of sense. I mean, they're nice and super early game, but the thing is super early game where you can get them is technically halfway through the fucking game because you have to be in do solo chaos. Or just be really dedicated to um, 15 puzzle. Which frankly, if you have that kind of patience, you are a fucking saint. Sahagin Queen. Yeah, let's apply our damage appropriately. Talo lands like a bitch whenever he gets bit by a shark. Zark just says, You're a fucking wuss. And then just shield bashes the fucking shark in the face. Like, bam! Get out of my face. There we go. Oh, lovely. I hate this floor. Because you got to go into the uh, correct building. And this is basically like flooded Melmond. Oh, that was easy. I think, yeah, this is the point where they're like, yeah, players are probably going to want to come here after they do the Flying Fortress. Because, you know, we got super bosses here. Super bosses with 30,000 HP that hit like a truck. 
They hit like a truck when they hit softly. Yes, I do. Uh, even on the overworld. Yeah, on the rivers. Remember, I was freaking out about the Ochus. Though, it would have been a little more appropriate if, you know, they were aquatic enemies. Did someone order a flare? You know, appetizer. Quite trap tight a little more, and then, uh, boom. Goodbye. The potency of flare is only three times that of Blizzara. Though I will say this, at least Blizzara is useful in this game. Well, they're on the river near Crescent Lake. So apparently that's boggy area, but it looks like just a regular rapid stream. Just judging from the graphics. I know I was humming a different song, but fuck it. Dry lips, I can't whistle high notes. Also, I burnt my upper lip on a chicken nugget at work. Yeah, because fucking black goblins are worthless. I mean, death elementals aren't much better, but, you know, at least I can, can conceivably grind on them. Though, plugging my way through this dungeon is basically a grind anyway. Because it's worth a little more than that. I mean, most of the weapons are... Eh. It's like, wow, I got a bunch of ninja swords. Too bad I don't have a ninja. Which is a shame, because ninjas are kind of fun. Oh, hey, we're back here. Damn it. Alright, yeah, there's definitely got to be, like, some kind of chain in these cloaks, because otherwise they're not going to stop a fucking knife with them. I don't care how thick of fucking wool it is. Say what you want. <laughs> Alright, we're how deep into this place and we're still seeing fucking Gloom Widows? They're worth less than the fucking goblins. I mean, yeah, they're worth a lot of money, but pfft, fuck money. I'm pushing a million. In 130,000. Whatever. Is he really the fastest person on the team? I 
agility. 17, 16, 13. Oh, he is! By a wide margin! That just means he has a higher potential roll on initiative. Oh, I hate this floor. All of that for a fucking potion. I mean, talking to the dancers really doesn't do anything. They're just going through the routine. So like you can... They all have different text boxes you can talk to them, but... They don't actually say anything. Oh, wow. Well, useless potions. Well, I gotta say, I do like the one with the darker purple hair. Why are they backed up so much? Holy shit. Yeah, this floor right here is kind of like the shitty dungeons I designed in RPG Maker in a project I canceled years ago. Just make this big fucking... <clears throat> big maze that just winds in and around on itself. As the first dungeon in the game. And then just make it more elaborate as you go. Frankly, playtesting it got annoying. Because, you know, I did the right thing and actually playtested it to see if it was fun. But no, it turned out to be worse than this place. Shitty experience, you know. Fucking not worth it on the resources. What is Ashura? Is that another fucking ninja sword? It is, but... Huh. Uh, Katatsu? I know Sasuke's blade is ninja only. It's actually a decent sword at that. No! No! Ooh! Holy shit, what's the difference on that? Five attack for five accuracy. Worth it. No. Give me back my cat claw. Did I put that back where I needed it? Yes first slot of my inventory because yeah oh hey the library yeah this is just giving me all the quick floors at the end i mean i'm not complaining except that you know these are the floors with the encounter tables that actually are worth something and you know just talking to the scholars really doesn't do anything The sun will surely rise tomorrow. I'm certain it will. Not in a world of darkness it won't. Which is why you need to get the fuck out of my way. So that I can stop that from happening. Move, dickhead! Thank you, asshole. Wow, Hermes shoes are pretty common here. Hi, my name's Tal. If I'm a little bitch, I'd take 200 damage from a fucking shark. <laughs> this diamond armor sure is pretty. It's supposed to protect me, but I don't want to get scratched. That was kind of a, an intelligible homsar. <laughs> Sage's mitre, huh? Ooh. Ooh. 
That's four defense. Fuck it. <laughs> Is that tower of a really drunk Kermit? Yes. <laughs> What's the difference? Especially if uh, Jay does the uh, emote that I asked him to do. Because I'm going to turn Monka S into uh, a sweat me uh, emote using the Red Wizard. It's what I'm hoping for, at least. I mean, I'm kind of leaving some creative liberty for Jay to work with. Oh, fucking hell. That wasn't terrible. This should kill Killer Shark B. Killer Shark A, however, probably has about 700 HP left. Well, I don't know how far off my estimate was, but I at least over. Oh! This floor. Welcome. Here, the bold are tested to see whether they are fit to advance beyond. If you would proceed, you must first face my disciples. Two silver dragons, one white dragon, two blue dragons. Defeat them, and you may pass. Speak to me again if you wish to know how many you have defeated. And seeing as these are single and, and you know what? I might as well just use the fucking judgment staff. Because fuck it, it's a free flare. Oh, Ice Storm's gonna hurt. Never mind. Remember when that thing was threatening? It's the same mob. Uh... Is Nico Bolas' uh, color actually cannon? I mean, I know in terms of magic colors, he's, what, red, blue, black? I know he's blue and black, I just can never remember the third color if it's, um... Uh, red or white. Oh, wow. That was a nice level for Aaron. Oh, holy dragon. Oh, this fight's gonna suck. I think Flare might do the most damage here. Oh, it survived. Blue, red, black, okay. I can never remember, because, um... I actually never had a copy of, um... Nico. Well, he's a, a dragon god. I think he can do whatever the hell he wants. what the thing is weak to? But I'm unpacking my big spells now. Put on my big boy mage pants. That does a lot of fucking physical damage. Yeah, I hope you like some ice cubes. I'm gonna turn you into ice cream. Oh! 
Hey, Tal have gained a good HP level. Holy shit. Wait, they put him in a precon? That's fucked. He's a powerful card. You don't usually put, like, super shitter cards like that into precons. Now I remember what I was doing. Other than wasting a ton. Oh! Nice HP, Zark. Holy Dragon. 1374 HP. No weaknesses, resistance to Quake. Attack 100. That's why he hits like a truck. Um. Oh! The magic defense of 200 is uh, why my spells aren't doing jack shit. And yes, I know I'm probably able to just go talk to uh, not Hamid, but uh, I kind of just want to murder all the dragons because dragons give good experience. And I wouldn't be as high a level as I can before going into Shinryu. Even though I'm doing... I think I'm going to do Omega first. Like I said, he's on the west side. But since Nicobolus is a named legendary, you can't have all three of them on the field at the same time. You can only have one of them. Because the legend rule says, yeah, he, this guy can't exist in multiple versions. Hell, I remember when uh, Blue Decks were just running uh, Jace Mind Sculptor to... Um, counter other blue decks with Jason the Mind Sculptor. And then they're like, yeah, we gotta change this. We can't be having that. So now each player is allowed to have one of any named uh, Planeswalker. But only one on the field at once. Mm, I'm gonna have to. You know what? Fuck it. I have high pose. Damn it, Hell, why are you such a bitch? Planeswalkers, specifically the son of the player's view. Planeswalker and legendary permits that obey other legend rules. So, totally one of each walker in the same player. But what does... It's, but how does that work in, like, the way of, like, Jace having three different iterations? Character name type does nothing in the rest of the will say. Play a Carnage Plane Walker Destroy Target French. Man, I can tell I haven't played Magic in, like, seven years. Five years, excuse me. <clears throat> I was playing Magic at the, uh, place down here on Main Street. But, you know, they would try to rope us into their fucking youth group meetings. Because... 
they were the kind of religious people that are like, oh, these card games are evil. We're going to let you play them, but you're going to have to listen to the Bible. It's like, just let us play our fucking game. Like, we had a good fucking eight-man duel going one day. And as soon as they started pulling out the Bibles and wrapping people up, like, five of the players fucking scooped. Because they're like, yeah, we don't want to be part of this. Oh. That actually only hurt Zark. Which actually, I think the Sage's Miter is protecting Trail from magic. As well, I would certainly hope it does because, you know, it is a mage's hat. One of each Jace card that he's... So you can have a Jace Bellerin and a Jace Mind Sculptor on your side of the field under your control at the same time? That is weird. The only reason why I keep bringing up Jace is because he's the only one I know the, the name from memory of two different forms of him. Like, I know a Johnny has a uh, red-white version, but I only know a Johnny Goldman by name. And Grubuck Wildspeaker. I know he's got a green-black version. But fucked if I know its name. Because in that case, it just seems like they splinter off and become, you know, bastardizations of themselves. Or maybe I'm just reading too far into it. Wait, Teferi's back? Huh. Oh shit, it's another fucking holy dragon. My favorite card when it comes to Teferi is Puzzle Box. Run that in a black deck with Underworld Dreams. <laughs> like a, just a an opponent deck manipulation deck, like discard and shit. Like run it with Megram and uh, Liliana's Caress. <laughs> I see you are indeed worthy of proceeding. You are free to pass. But remember this. The real trial is only just beginning. Hmm. Ice Spring Grotto 19. Should probably heal. Especially when we bring Zarek back up because he took a fuckload of damage. That tank life, yo. Oh, really? Yeah, because I remember Teferi Mage of Zelfair from uh, Time Spiral. That card was awesome. Fucking all your spells can be pat uh, played as if they're fucking instants. I think the ex exact uh, oracle is all of your cards... Outside of the outside of play have flash and all opponents can only play spells at sorcery speed. Oh Joyra, we haven't seen her in a while. Holy shit. 
I remember Joyer's Time Bug. That card was fun. Hard to keep on the field because, you know, tap it, bring shit into play. I actually think I ran Joyer's Time Bug in, um... In my, um... Fucking... Blue deck. Protect Cloak. How does that compare to the... Oh, yeah, that's definitely better. Goodbye, Buckler. You rusty piece of junk. Now I've got a mirror shield, a blue, red, and green cape. Because the Zephyr cape is blue. On the uh, graphic. Take one of the top two cards in your deck with plus one. Untap, untap four turn. Wow. Minus ten effect that allows you to permanently be able to activate... Time to get shit stomped by Shinryu. Or Omega. I think Omega is the one on the left here. And he doesn't have anything for me. I probably should be using vanilla potions for this, but I don't know where I put them. Let's head down to the right side of my inventory. Looking... That way, in case there's a smart ass that says, Haha, you passed it. I wasn't looking at it. There we go. How do I have 82 fucking potions? I don't remember buying that many. I. Oh, never mind. All oh, those fucking black goblins. Ignore me, I'm stupid. Trail almost has maximum MP. A thousand years it's been since challenges stood before me. Show me your power. Show me the power you possess. Defeat me if you can. Oh boy! Ben Earthquake! Hopefully that doesn't kill anyone. I don't think it can. These are the protect rings. Did I save? I don't think I saved. I think I forgot the fucking save. I'm an idiot. Because I don't want to have to come back down through that fucking dungeon before I, you know, if it means I have to fucking rematch a fucking boss I've already failed to fight. Oh. This version, this remix of the song has just a low enough tempo to fuck with me because I've been doing the fucking Delta Escape raid, which is a much faster tempo for this song. Oh! 400 fucking damage with a normal fucking laser! Yeah, I think it's time to start on- No! What are you doing, Zark? you fucking wuss? Where's the white shirt? Oh, 
all that buffing for fucking nothing. God damn it. Wait. Blue one had Fairy on edge and the green one Frey Elise. Yeah, I don't I'm not familiar with Frey Elise. White head Nahiri. Yeah, I kinda miss Zendikar, so I don't know much about the Aldrazi. Oh yeah, fucking Soren. Of course. Of Nixilis. That guy's not familiar. They're ready. New okay. Ooh! Well, a goblin that works with artifacts is, you know, kind of expected at this point. I'm gonna use the judgment staff. God damn it! I have an idea. You know, I might as well just be using like, vanilla life. For all the good these fucking protect spells are doing me. God damn it! I just fucking rezzed him! I don't think that's gonna fucking matter. Fuck! Do I have a blue curtain? So if I have a blue curtain, I think I can mitigate some of that fucking wave damage. Damn it! And it looks like Portero was finally starting to make a difference. <sighs> Next was a guy we saw some random demon in the original Zenicar. Would once been a planeswalker and a card that could steal three life on an opponent and give himself three plus one. Wow! Wow, that's kind of broken. Especially in a fucking Eldrazi deck where, you know, you're 
dropping lands left and right. Produ well, I guess most of your mana for your Eldrazi come from um, Eldrazi spawn, but whatever. Where's the defender? And I know I've got a dry ether somewhere. I'm not using that mega elixir. I really need to organize my inventory. There it is. What? Oh! Damn it. Forgot dry ethers were the fucking X potion of ethers. I'm stupid. But, uh, let's go with Invisra. Fully restores MP. Fuck. I was thinking it was the one that did, uh. What am I doing? You bastard! I think now's about the time I need to start attacking. Because I'm not getting anywhere. Kirog on himself. Have I not hasted him yet? You bastard! I might as well just fucking leave him dead. For all the good it's fucking doing. He's a, he's a fucking mana sink at this point. And it's really starting to piss me off. Yes, uh, lovely. Full life is still a better is. Still better MP management. Even though he dies in one fucking hit. God, you're useless, Talon. Yeah, all those layers of Proterra definitely are helping. Is this particular boss? These super bosses down here are nasty. And that's being nice about it. You motherfucker! Specifically on the user. Okay. And yeah, no shock didn't do anything. Mm. 
Does he know? He does not. Let's use another layer of blank. These are critical hits, mind. It's official. He's he's dead to me for this fight. Because every time I try to bring him back, he just gets fucking shot back down. But I can really use the extra fucking attack, the extra move each turn. And I just used that Phoenix down on fucking Zarek. The character that's named after me is acting as fucked up as I am. You know, I can actually probably try to get away with a full life. It's a foregone conclusion with Talov, though, because he takes 700 damage with a fucking max HP of 500. He's wasting his turn. Basically, Wave Cannon, goodbye, Talov. Yeah, the Patera is getting pretty up there. It's just a shame that Talib is not benefiting from any of it because he's been dead for half of it. for the sake of fuck not here. Oh, hey! He's finally fucking surviving! No, I don't want temper on you. You using temper on yourself is kind of useless, and I think he just took 400 damage. Oh, he didn't.
she's running. He is running out of fucking mana. And I've already used the dry ether. Granted, I didn't get 200 points out of it. Yeah, it only took the entire fucking fight so far. Alright, he's back to full, so... Temper... Oh, shit. Drink an ether, buddy. That's cute. Bastard almost dead. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I told him to defend for nothing. Oh, it's over. It's over! Jesus Christ! Morasame! Which I think is a fucking ninja exclusive. Exactly! Also known as the Demon Blade. Is that the Muramasa that's known as the Demon Blade? Let's go back to Melmond. I mean, I even looked over at my shelf of uh, Vita games. I'm like, all three of them. They're sitting on top of my um, A to C. No, A to B, because uh, I see the red label for Bioshock Infinite. And at the top of the stack is Moromasa the Demon Blade, uh, Rebirth, or whatever the subtitle is, Freedom Wars, and uh, P4G. Which I do have the, uh, the PSTV sitting over there on top of my PS2. So, you know, that's a hint of something I could possibly do down the line. Lovely, it's this floor again. Well, that was quick. I was just all over the fucking place in my inventory. <laughs> that last fight, that was fucking awful. <laughs> no, I don't want Phoenix down.
Damn it. You know, I'm almost half tempted to see if Tal can use the uh, Sage's Miter. Although the Sage's Miter gives an intelligence bonus, which is honestly best suited for Trell. I like your purple robe, get the fuck out of my way. A. Get out of the way, ass hat. You motherfucker. Move up. Move north. Move. You prick. I wasn't talking to you there, uh, red. I'm talking to you, blue. Get out of my way, dickhead! Move! Asshole. Which pink roommate mermaid in the room down south? There's several. Oh. So you left him in here with two mermaids. That seems real responsible. We still relatively healthy? Yeah. I'm afraid this contents of the chest are already in my possession. Ha! And thanks to you, the route to my egress is clear! But before I go, I thought should I should uh, test the power of Excalibur on. Oh, you! Did I just do that, really? Ouch. Fuck you, bastard. At least he's attacking my tank. Some apparently origins for takes weapon from a novel that was made of ice. My monster refers to the weaponsmith. Okay, and his weapons as a result. He's famously skilled and believed to be violently insane, and sought to be transferred to his blade as well. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Let's go for more. You know, I'm gonna forego the uh, temper this turn for Protera. Does he have we Oh, I didn't buy his level 7 magic. Ha! Ah. That's okay, I never used the level 7 magic anyway. It's just novelty, really. Oh my god!
Joke's on you, dickhead. It's cute. That says 9,999. HP hard caps at 999. Alright, let's go for another couple layers of Proterra. Because if it's hitting Zarek for 86, it's still hitting Talif for 300. Because reasons. Or, you know, we can just kill him. That's fine. I don't care what your quotas are, I'm gonna kill them all. Disappointing. It's a good level. Still rivaling Tal of 1 HP. Shame is taking the fucker this long to get to where he is, though. I try to lean over a little bit. My voice is gonna be panned a little to the right now. Hope you don't mind. It's a nice thing about using my computer from my bed. I can lay down if I want to. I mean, I'm still propped up, but you know what I mean. It's part of the reason why I don't want to do face cam. I suppose I should move my mic over a little bit. Compensate. Of course you got a bum level. He's basically the load of this party, and that's sad because I love red mages. Hell, like I've said, I'm pretty sure I've said this on stream before. It's now my DPS main in Final Fantasy 14. That's what I'm gonna be raiding as with this group. I'll go Dark Knight if we need it. If people want to switch up. Like, one of the tanks just wants to not play... just wants to play a different role for a night. Granted, I'm not going to be able to do that until later in the progression. Moderately lazy? <laughs> the Black Dragon survived that onslaught. Damn. Oh, Durgan Zermby. Haven't seen you in a while. So the blue dragon and the yellow dragon are basically the same creature. I don't know. I think it's funny that uh, the closest thing to being a full-on healer as a, the red mage has in 14 is we don't actually have a real Asuna. We have the roll action at your race, but it's on a 30-second timer. And doesn't clear all ailments. I mean, granted, Asuna does them one at a time, but... 
you know, I think there's still some things that can't be cleared. As a matter of fact, I actually had it erased on my hotbars. I'm like, gee, I wish we had Verasuna, because this sucks. And then one of the people on the Exodus Discord's like, we do. Well, wait, it doesn't count. Excuse me? The Black Dragon did it. How little damage did that have? 54? You know, it's almost like I have the Diamond Armlet on him. And I actually get Trell back down to the fucking Ruby Armlet to give it to him. more dragons on this floor now. Or is that just me? Huh. I'm paying more attention to the game. I didn't see you say at least in the regular Final Fantasy games. There's a lot of fucking dragons here. Shoot, by now I think I might have hit a million. Yeah, <laughs> I have cap money. Which means that grinding for 300,000 gil back between the first and second sessions of this, pointless. Yellow Dargan, die. How much experience do I need for 49? Between 7 and 10,000. You know what really seems fucked up to me, now that I think about it? Dark Muhammad is damning all of these dragons in this room to death. All as a means to test you if you're capable of, you know, being permitted to move on. This really seems kind of fucked up to me.
Oh, I did give him blink, so using the defender was actually kind of stupid. Guess I'll know for Shinryu. And Invisera really doesn't seem to do much. Though I do want to compare Invisera with his caster evasion. Raises party's invasion. So I guess Blink being level 1 is protect yourself. Invis being level 2 is protect your friends. Oh shit! Why am I telling them all to attack now? The magic's doing a hell of a lot more damage. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm dumb. Is a better knife coming somewhere in um, Whisperwind? I think it's in one of the shop floors. Cause yeah, imagine that that gives you some pit stop floors. So usually the best shits when they uh, show up later. I actually remember one time I was going through Whisperwind Cove, I didn't get any of the town floors until, like, the last six or so floors. Yeah, I was getting a lot of good equipment and shit. You know, a lot of good items I needed, but... Uh... You know, I didn't have any challenge for the final couple floors. I guess I said it was red, but it's brown. These aren't forced encounter floors, and these soldiers are shitty enemies. They hit trail for one, so it'd probably hit Tala for like seven. For all the sense that makes. Which means if something hits Tala for one, that means hitting everyone else in the party is a heal. Doing so little damage, it actually restores my HP. Chester back. There's the Phoenix down I used before. Which is MP at now? 674. What's, what's the trails at? Eight 
31. Oh, there's a treasure chest there that I no longer care about. You're not worth fighting, Scolger, so I'm not gonna waste time. Oh, lovely. I really don't feel like shutting off my dash again. I really don't feel like going through the entire fucking thing searching for items. Because the last time was uh, less than stellar. But, you know, this one's right on my way. These two are right on my way. Hmm. All these useless items. God fucking love them. The Hermes shoes are useful. In the sense that, yeah, let's... My two white casters use it. I love how haste and other time magic spells are never consistent on what color they are. Uh, some games they're black, some days some games they're white. Uh, in the games where green magic exists, they're green. Uh, when time magic is a thing, they're time spells. Or in Final Fantasy XIV's case, you know their heels because <laughs> the way astrology and heels work is it's explained in story as you're turning back time on the uh, afflicted bo person's body to restore them to a time before they were hurt that's how it's explained in the universe at least Oh, it, it's a guaranteed. It's just part of the shuffle. I mean, the the stairs to the next floor might be in a different place. But, you know, the, the types of floor are guaranteed. It's so, like there's always a world map floor in Hellfire Chasm, but there's three variations on it, and it just so happened to got one of the worst ones on Tuesday, on the second run, mainly because I forgot you have to talk to the fucking pirate to know that you can use the Levistone. Figure that one out. Ooh! Another Mind Plus. Score. Shit. I hate this fucking puzzle. Really hate this fucking puzzle. Why'd I do that? I'm such a fucking dumbass. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, if only I had actual musical talent and, you know, could sing. That's why I'm not a famous musician, folks. Now, you want famous or good mu musician? Check out my buddy Squidbird. Ah, why'd I do that?
You shouldn't be allowed to walk off the edge if the fucking uh, bulbs are up. But at the same time, you can see, so you know where to stop. Oh, lovely dead end. I'm in the fucking clear now. I can't believe it. This shit is so fucking crazy. I am losing my fucking mind. Hey, another silver apple. Guess who gets that? Mind plus. Filter my strength where it goes. And then if I cap him off, then I'll start giving mind pluses to... And this shouldn't surprise you, Aaron. I don't know, at this point I kind of expect it. You know, that's one of the things I don't need is MP. But hey, guess what I get? I get another judgment stay, bitches. Well, I'm gonna use fucking high potions and ethers. Oh, hey, I can use another ether on trail. Whoops. I don't think getting viscera really helps me all that much. I mean, yeah, it reduces the amount of times they get hit, which, you know, mitigates a ton of damage, but it takes a while to stack it that high. Automos doesn't really attack physically, so Invisera's not going to really help me, so I don't know why I told him to cast that. Huh? Wish I had Proterra and an item, but I don't. Motherfucker! Kinda wish that, uh, cover was a thing. You 
motherfucker! Oops. Guess I did kind of forget to revive him, didn't I? Whoopsie dangus. And he's dead. And I should have used the haste instead of the white robe. Why does that keep killing him? That shouldn't keep killing him. Like he has a protectorate. What did I hit optimize and change it to the fucking Genji glove? Fucking a. If he's got the Genji Glove, I'm gonna be mad. Because he shouldn't. Now he's got the Protect Ring, so I don't know what the fuck. No. And before Wormhole kills Zarek again. Motherfucker! Yes, hi, I'm your resident moron. I love this game. Am I seriously about to fucking wipe on Automos? Shit, who did I tell her to tell him to uh, revive? You can tell I'm used to giving my white wizards female names. Jesus Christ!
And before Furaga again. You fucking prick. You fucking prick. <laughs> How does that even make sense? But okay. Aaron's the only one smart enough to not use his fucking shield. Did I say it's Ark? Aaron is the only one that knows how to use his goddamn shield. Drinking ether, buddy. And of course, you know, Aaron's the only one that has any buffs anymore. Because guess who's the only one who hasn't died this entire fucking run? had the means to soak that? Really? 27 damage without Proterra. Maybe I should have used Kiraga. Fuck, I'm gonna use Kira again. Okay, Trell also knows how to use his shield. I don't remember. I used it, it doesn't fucking matter. Well, there we go. Two judgment staves.
Remember when high potions weren't a thing in this game? Where you had to restore your HP 30 at a time and you could only carry 99 of them? Yeah! The addition of high potions is very nice, especially on uh, magic list runs. But that fight with Automo sucked! Oh, yeah. That, too. I don't know. If there's one thing I'm going to commend about that uh, hard-type rebalance is um, they let you have the uh, buy nine option. But, of course, it only worked if, you know, you had space in your inventory for nine potions or nine of whatever. Like, if you only used X amount of them, you know, where X is less than 9. What? Oh. They're squishy. Like, really squishy. And the award of Overkill of the Year goes to... Never mind. Still an Overkill with three times the amount of things HP. But, you know, seeing Aaron use Flare would be hilarious. Hey, there we go. the phone 38 to is there that big of a difference in the damage well I guess that many levels difference is a huge jump but still Chopping on my face. Trout almost has as much MP as Zarek has MP. HP. <laughs> Words. They're hard. You know, if only AoE magic worked the way it does in Final Fantasy 2. Where it would actually multiply the base damage by... You know, so it does an additional 50% damage, and then it splits by the number of targets. Which actually means if you spread your spells on a single target, you do more damage. Because it didn't take into consideration the fact that, hey, you could be spreading to a single target. And since that treasure chest is immediately to the south, I'm going to go around and get it. It's probably something like a goddamn potion anyway. And of course, it's going to be protected by fucking everything. That was a waste of an attack from the Sahagan Queen. 
Yeah, I really need to switch him back to the gauntlet. Because, but as soon as I do that, that's when I'm gonna stop running into the fucking killer sharks. Oh, of course, it's not like you've got 99 of them or anything from uh, all the retarded goblins I'm fighting. Oh, 5,000 gil. So instead, there's 100 potions. Speaking of... 50 fucking antidotes. Might as well use these potions the game is just, game is just throwing at me. It's rain and potions. Jesus Christ, it's rain and potions. I mean, if something was dropping ethers, maybe I'd be excited. Because at this point, I gotta take another trip to Gaia. I actually need to go to Unrock, too. going to be goblins. stairs. I just want to move on with this. Get my shit pushed in by Shinryu once again. Cause I haven't had enough in 14. Oh cool. More damage. Also another apple for Squishy. Forever he shall be known. I don't know, part of me wants to do one of those things where if I ever start writing these characters again, introduce Talib back into the story and have Zark pull into, hey, remember that time where you, uh, sucked? If anything, I'm probably going to change the name of the the character that will be replacing the Black Mage because I don't really like to do author inserts or characters named after the author because that just sounds like bad writing and really brushing in on self-inserted Mary Sue and that's uh, not a trope I want to get into. Back where I started. 
The sharks really like this floor. And I'm not talking about the gang from Earthbound. <laughs> Remember the time you got knocked over by a stiff breeze? <laughs> And then he's gonna retort with, but, 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 but the feather in my hat. It's very delicate. I didn't realize you put the feather in your hat, jackass. What do I hang out with you? You're so mean. <laughs> Maybe the goblins are the sharks. <laughs> Considering how easy they are to knock out. And make them tame. Because that's not weird. Where in the fuck is the stairs? I just want to move on with this. Move on with this. I need the stairs. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta get my shit. Keep rushing me. What the fuck is going on with this shit? Where in the fuck are the stairs here in this fucking floor? Because I'm losing my mind! Oh yeah, that I suppose pretty potent. Considering how, you know, you can, you know, just burst everything down with it. I may need to heal. Which almost makes me wish that Trell could cast some late magic. With that giant fucking mana pool of his. Oh, yeah. They heal longer, they heal one HP. Where are the fucking stairs? I need to get my ass out of. This fucking dungeon, I think I found the stairs right there. And I just ran away from them last time. Holy fucking shit. No, I didn't find. Damn it. So fucking confused, can you tell? over here already.
Sometimes I should have fought Shinryu first, so I could have had the Ragnarok. What did that eye hit me with? Certainly not its squishy face eye. Because, you know, there wasn't any recoil damage on that. Because, uh, you know, you smack something with your eye. I don't care how tough the fucking thing's gotten out of the fucking casing on it. Protect whoop de doo. If it was Proterra, maybe I would care. But giving it to a single target just doesn't make sense. Oh, hey, guess what I found? After forever, Vampire Fang. Is that a paralyzed item? Paralyzes one foe. Yeah, it's a uh, stun in an item form. Durgans. Salver Durgans. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Typically, you can only parry from the front. Oh, okay. Of course, he blocks things with a low accuracy anyway. Now you pissed me off. You're not gonna like me now that I'm pissed off. In fact, your face just might explode. Clearly, it's some kind of mer. Why are you not running away? Oh, hey, your buddies are going away from this fucking place because I don't want to fucking deal with you. Run away. Wouldn't have been funny if the last knock would have ran away while, you know, I was still attempting to run. So I would have gotten one gill out of escaping. Another pair of Hermes shoes. Ooh.
another Ashura that I can't use. Also, I can't sell it because it's not worth anything. To a full wallet. But I guess that's the closest thing to dropping it I've got. That kind of makes me think of my Final Fantasy VII file and my one uh, virtual memory card that I transferred from a physical one on my PS3. I have a file at the end of the game saved in the crater, like right before you go down to fight Sephiroth, with uh, broken integer millions of gil. Just because, you know... I was mastering all the materia, and, you know, all was sell for a million and a quarter. Hey, another Sage's Miter. And he can't even use it. He can. You know, I haven't found any body armor since coming in here. Genji gloves should be in a place somewhere around here. And the Genji shield. Excuse me. I think those are Whisper Wind items. I know. We won't know until we get there. Looks like I'm getting both ice cave floors down at this point in the game. Oh, a remedy. Remember when I said those were expensive? Not anymore. I mean, they are, but. You know. What is a god to a non believer? Shit. Not even anything worth my attention. Neither is that. Really? You want me to blow you into bloody chunks and giblets? And then blow those bloody chunks and giblets into more bloody chunks and giblets. Much obliged! Fuckers. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. Oh, yeah. Okay. This floor. Yeah, I lost... I got stuck on two blondes. Well, there's one of my ethers back. Sage of Surplus. What is that? Hang on. 56.
Gain one defense, but I lose one evasion. It's worth it. 60. 61. That's huge. Five intelligence? Shit. Don't mind if I do. wants to go in here just to be curious if there's a good item in the chest. No, it's probably another waste of my time. Though if it's another one of those, uh, Sage of Supluses, then, uh... Nope, it's a Speed Plus. Which... Eh, put the speed where it's needed. insists on giving me these shitty potions. I just will use them. And I'm topping off just to be safe. Completely topping off. Didn't mean to do that. I skipped over Talov somehow. And yeah, I haven't saved all this time. I am that which follows, Omega. Good thing I only have one of them. Uh, where is the white shark? White fang? Not what I need. Oh! Hi! I think that one's dead. He's not. It's close, but he's not. That's a wipe. That's a wipe. That's a wipe. There's nothing I can do. I can't recover from this. I don't think I can beat him. I don't think I can beat him at level 40. Whatever. 40. Mm, hang on. Yeah, I beat him with this file. Not that much lower level either. Not that much higher, I should say. Right about the same playtime, too. 
Oh no, I'm gonna try one more time. If he kills us again, then uh, we'll come back later. After we've uh, done about 10 levels of grinding. So, let's go. Reset, because I'm not doing that fucking dungeon again. No, thank you. Nope, we're dead. Gee, where have I seen this scenario? Just kill me. Yeah, Shinryu is like all fucking AoE. But I am going to consider that a bust. But at the same time, I don't want to stop streaming, but I don't want to move on to Whisperwind Cove. So what I'm planning to do is probably... I have another game in mind to play right now. Um, but I think I'm going to cut the stream for a couple seconds. Why well, set everything up that way it splits the two vods? So um, hang tight. I am not going anywhere.